Sorry you made it all the way here for me. It's not like I have a light. Oh, okay. He lives in the area now, so it's just us. I'll give it a jump away. Alright, so the, our last um, announcement basically said that the breakfast with Santa was going to be um, on the 13th of the month of December. But actually, on the 13th or 12th? Uh, actually, I said the 12th, but that's a break. <laughs> okay. Um, so I meant the 13th. Anyway, um, I'm going to break it for the time. That would be the 12th. I announced the 12th, but the Saturday date is actually the 13th. But we moved it completely because uh, we put in an application to the Spark of Love for Toys. Um, and they're the only organization that gives out to, to youth organizations versus Toys and Pops does it in the And Spark of Love does uh, like a big, yeah. Like they do big organizations. Uh, so basically, um, they don't get out to us until after So oh, okay. we're gonna, what we're going to do is um, uh, we moved it. We decided to move it. Mm-hmm. And at the last meeting, uh, <laughs> away from a, a lady by the name of Melissa Kellogg was here in the meeting. And uh, afterwards, she spoke to me and she was really willing to uh, become part of our you know, activities. Um, she actually paid for a marionette show. Um, it's uh, Preserve Al Serino, I think it's called. Yeah, Preserve Al Serino, so she's part of that group, and they paid for our marionette show, which was $350 paid and signed the contract, done, set. So they're coming on at 10.15. Our breakfast with Santa is usually from 8 to 12. And at 8, we take registration at 9 or earlier if we're already done with a lot of the food. Mm-hmm. We start letting people in to eat. Mm-hmm. And then at 9 o'clock is when the, the presentations start, like the cheerleaders and all that. So the marionette show is going to start at 10.15. Our plan is to have, as soon as he's done, we're going to have Santa come out. Uh, so our performance will probably go from uh, 9 to 10. If we have that many, you know, last year was a little too long. So um, hopefully we can stay, uh, or we have to stay on uh, schedule with the marionettes. We have to give them time since you know they're professional musician. They come in, they set up in 15 minutes, and they're done. So we'll probably have performances from like 9 to 9:45, and then he comes in with me at 10:15, and then it's Santa at 11. So it should run pretty smooth, and I'm super happy that the marionette shows. I think it'll be something. They're really new for the kids nowadays. Uh, you don't, uh, no, when we were growing up, can you explain what that is actually? Can you explain what that is? It's puppets. It's puppets with strings and there's a. Uh, that was because of being poor, so I just wanted to be out there. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> such a so silly. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I have no comment for. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, yeah, that's December twentieth. Uh, I know a, I got a lot of help last year from you, so just want to put it out there for, for the founders. Um, it's really close to Christmas. I know. I'm sorry, but. And really it's to, to bring a little bit of Christmas. So the further away from Christmas, the less like Christmas is. That's my experience. <laughs> so we're gonna start we're gonna start setting up uh, what time do we we're gonna come? We what time do we the, to I usually do a meeting yeah. the night before. Uh-huh. Um and then we start that's when we decorate, but then we'll start um we meet like at seven AM. Yeah. So I know, last year I didn't have time to stay because I had something else no, to do. No, you were there in the uh, I mean, I was there on Friday, but uh, this year, hopefully, I won't, I'll put it on my calendar so I don't forget anything else for that. It's such a good event. Like, just, I know, my mom was there with, sure, with the boys. She like. It's, yeah, this gets better and better. And then Halloween. And then, and then, uh, Felix got us a lot of toys already, right? Yeah. Um, uh-huh. last year we had like four or five bags, like, it was really crazy, right? So, um, yeah, this year, um, uh, I, I actually told you last year I was going to be able to get this year, so. Uh, I'm going to try, if I go, uh, I was invited to the uh, special event at the 
here. My friend helps and he gets a ticket to the clinic. He can always use it for the rest of the day. They give us 12 tickets and I came back with all of them. Yeah, I saw something. Very nice toys. Okay, okay. With toys. Yeah. Oh, good. I hope maybe if that happens, I'll. And then for Halloween. Other for me. I'm sure I have to do this. I want to do it on the field, and I should have actually found that note that I sent. Um, so I'm requesting a generator, I'm requesting a pop of tents. What I want to do, and then I ordered an inflatable. Uh, what I want to do is, did I do that diagram last last uh, Yeah, you did. Last you did. meeting? Yeah. Okay. So it's basically, at, at the entrance it would be the big inflatable, and I got, um, it was like, a, it's a mini obstacle course, so it's, climb and then it's a slide um, and then pop-up tents four this way four this way and then four close together all close together because we want to put material all the way around it mm -hmm. I got two strobe lights and a fog machine because we want to do like a spooky walkthrough mm -hmm. Stanford's super excited about you know he's very creative so he's super excited about that um, and, and the, this, does everybody have to go up this slide to get in You know what? Why I've been. Yeah. 
necessarily at the demo area, anywhere in the park? Um, they, they just want to get one. Yes. They, 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 uh, they, bring up, they did bring up the point that they would love to see it here in this this, this area here because they want to be, you know, near the, the he said here. But shouldn't we put it to the comments? Shall we get to the comments? Yeah. Oh, no, because you're proving minutes. That's why yeah. I was making a yeah. comment about the minutes. But then, um, it, it just, just, just clear that up uh, real quick, and, and then we said we could put it anywhere, like maybe up here or down here, and you know, they, they, the, the whole point was that they want to be included in the project. They, they started off saying that they wanted to be included in this, new, in this project. That's how they started. And then the, some of the later uh, kids that, and, and golfers folks said that they would they want one. Yeah. So it was kind of like a 50 50. Can you give us something and include us here in this? So should I just change for upgrades? Like, so in the upcoming plans uh, for upgrades? For upgrades? Yeah. Yeah, and then uh, on that upgrade, you could, you know, maybe find an area or... Yeah. But does there have to be a motion from the board? Yes. So then you have to come uh, or someone else has to say it? Yeah. Anyone want to do a set of motion to... Uh, uh, I was kind of motion to upgrade to... To, uh, to area? To, to yeah. And, and um, how exactly do you want to put it? That's the way I want to cross off uh, the demo area and then just put park upgrades. So upcoming plans for park upgrades. Period. Okay. Um, if we put park upgrades, then that would basically be telling whoever we might approach in the future, those kids or us as a park advisory or real director, wouldn't that kind of like seem like Whenever you guys want to upgrade, and whenever you guys want to add it, if, if we were to put during this, wouldn't that like put a rush on it? Like, hey, let's it says it's the upcoming plans. Okay, okay, as long as I have the upcoming plans, I think they'll be happy with that. Include it with plans for the upgrade. They are hoping to have that included in the upcoming plans for park upgrades. Yes, that's good. Period. Can we get a motion to okay that? Anyone? Okay. Okay. First, second, Tony. Does Tony count? Yes. He counts. Mm -hmm. did not, not because of that. <laughs> I don't know. I, okay. we, we can start the meeting when you get here or something. Oh, for the, oh, oh. For the comment? Because if not, I'll make a No, yeah, because it, it only has to do with this. It has to do with the Okay. Tony and... Who else? Hortensia. Hortensia. Okay, sorry. I didn't... Apparently, you don't shower because I was so late. Moving on. Uh, public comment. Does anyone here want to make a public comment? Quick comment. Um, you know how we sign in for these meetings every 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 month. Um, it'd be good if we have if we have uh, agendas, emails to the stakeholders who who sign in so that they're aware of the upcoming meeting, the, the cab meeting. Because I I mean I, I don't get notified unless I walk through here and I look at it. So it'd be good to have like a start picking a, a list so that people can get notified. Last week, last month. Quite a few people showed up, stakeholders, signed in, but I don't know if they were notified or not about, about this week. So they can see come back and have input and uh, it's, a, it's on the website, right? I don't post it on the website. No? Oh, okay. I post it at the pool, uh, at the senior center, and here. Oh, okay. Um, and well, I email it to you guys. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. So, so that's a public comment <laughs> we can't discuss. Okay. Yeah. Does, does anyone suggest that? I think that does anyone else have any public comment? I, I have one. Uh, we, we, we have a lot of events coming up, and 
as you know, it's important for us to, to actually really concentrate because as, as, as an advisory board, our job is really to advise. Jennifer really doesn't have to take us into consideration in any decisions that, that she makes, but we've been very fortunate that, that she includes us in basically every dollar decision that, that she makes, which actually uh, I think is outstanding. There's a lot of public, uh, a lot of park advisory boards that do not think uh, are taken into consideration. We're actually being taken into consideration, and uh, I, I, I think that it might be time for us to um, look at the members because we do have a few members who have not been here. And we might want to start thinking about maybe, um, since they already did this 25%, like a state in the bylaws, uh, maybe uh, start looking for someone else. And, you know, the, the more people we have that, that actually show up to these meetings, uh, the community benefits, the park benefits, uh, I mean, all of us who are donating our time for, for this, uh, we all benefit. So, you know, um, that's it. I'm secretary. Yes, you are. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's one of the <laughs> 30 seconds. Okay, so I got that, and then we let Okay, so I was going to, um, just piggybacking on Felix, I was going to suggest that on the future agenda items we discuss um, the membership. Uh, the fact that we have uh, members that are either non-existent and they're included in the emails and the reminders. Um, I know last month I didn't remind you guys, but this month um, I did, um, and I've done it in the past, and they just they're not showing up. So uh, I would love to have a solid board, so we're not sitting here, you know, wasting Nate's time or just wasting our time, you know, no everybody's time because I want this to be successful and productive. Um, and definitely the more bodies we have that are actually involved and invested, the better our events and everything in Donald is going to be. So, yeah. Thanks, Felix. <laughs> you saw my thunder. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, moving on, uh, do we have any uh, guest speakers, councilmen? Here? Um, okay. Okay. Announcements. Any announcements? Yes. yes. Just, uh, oh, wait, never mind. Halloween's on there. Never mind. <laughs> uh, moving on to old business. List of recreation center priorities. Uh, we gotta work on that. It's been. I, I, I see, we all have Jennifer, Jennifer's email, we, we know what uh, we've been working on, Jennifer knows what, 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 what the park needs, we know what the park needs, that's the reason we need to get these meetings. Uh, I would suggest that uh, we go home and before the uh, following meeting, we all write a simple, um, it doesn't have to be long, no sentence, you know, uh, of what your your your, your uh, personal uh, maybe uh, wish list would be, you know, from your experience you had when you talk to your other parents, and obviously what we we've discussed here at these meetings as a group, and obviously with the parents, you know, we're going and to the survey. We have the survey. The survey. Well. Yeah, the survey. We definitely have to uh, uh, take care of that. So okay, we we'll go based on all the tallies, and then also based on that, we'll go with our thoughts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, basically, if you have just thoughts, yeah, that's really what it is, but it, it, it's what the people, what the people want. So, is there any possible way, Jennifer, you could uh, uh, send uh, the, the PAD members the, 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 the results just of the, the survey? Just the total yeah, of the yeah, counties yeah. at the top. Roxy send it, I think, to us, yeah. so I'll, I'll forward it. Okay. I'll, I'll forward it to the PAD, um, so right now I have Felix uh, basically encouraging us to email me with um, you know, using your past experience here at the park, as well as the survey results and just things you heard, um, and formulate a wish list and email it to me, and then that will be discussed in the next meeting. Okay, and then we write, um, so
moving on to uh, Halloween. All right, I was just uh, discussing that um, right before, uh, right when we got formed. So basically, weather permitting, we want to do something on the field. We were talking about doing, um, so this is Eastern right here, and this is uh, Klamath. Um, there is an inflatable, um, like, slide obstacle course that I got. So this would be where the um, lot is, the parking lot. We wanted to do maybe a little um, walkway either with uh, some type of like battery operated light. And uh, Christian said that they used the milk cartons at Eagle Rock. They put a, a battery in light and then they decorated the milk cartons. Um, and it kind of just illuminated the path. Uh, the inflatable here and then we would have uh, Pop up tents. Uh, we're required to have eight activities for the kids, um, combination of games and um, arts and crafts. So, what I was uh, asking my staff to do, um, Christian got all excited. He wants to do like a sports themed game. Um, one of my other uh, breakfast assistants, uh, she's a chef, and so she wants to do something with like edible art. So Um, and then, you know, just we're thinking of, of things that would attract the kids so it's not old and boring. Uh, I, want, I requested a pop-up tent and a generator. So it's, um, I wanted to have tables in the middle for families to sit and lounge. Um, it was four. So it would be uh, the inflatable, the pop-up tents. Each of these um, tents would have either some type of activity, whether it's a game or or arts and crafts project. This would be our spooky walkthrough. Um, Christian wanted to do that. He wanted to uh, have the kids walk in and then walk through, walk through it, and then just, mm -hmm. just yeah. kind of something scary to see. Uh, everything would be totally free. I wanted a pumpkin patch, so we're thinking of putting a pumpkin patch right here with okay. hay. and uh, maybe the council members banner in the back, so we're families. His picture would be in the picture. You know, <laughs> mind you, if we got money, I'm going to answer something. <laughs> no, I mean, no, you don't care about the banner. I just want to know what you guys need so we can make it to the bed. Okay. Uh, I got someone to donate eight bales of hay. Stanford's going to work on the scarecrow. Um, I asked the seniors that they would carve some pumpkins for us. They have an art class. They asked me for eight pumpkins, so I'm going to buy them eight pumpkins. If you guys can get the pumpkins donated, or if you can think of somewhere, I mean, I can always go with the food that always gives me like a $25 gift card if I ask them. Um, but if you guys know other resources where we can get good sized pumpkins, they wanted eight donated. So I was thinking the bales of hay and then the pumpkins in the back, the scarecrow on the side. I bought some stuff. They want eight for them and then so they can how many make some for us. They're, they're going to carve. Um, and they're going to give them back to us? They're going to give them back uh, to us? How many days before? Because they get ugly. The, the pumpkins, they go bad pretty fast. Yeah, yeah. Yes, from one so day to the next. I, their class is on Wednesday, our event's on Friday, so I figured if they carve it, we refrigerate it, and then bring them. Yeah, it'll be, okay, cool. Um, you know, I'm crossing my fingers. Maybe don't put a candle in the shoe glass. What day is no, that? No, you don't put a candle in the shoe glass. Right, right. 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 Oh, we have to do it home. Let's hear my mouth. <laughs> the, the purpose of, of us doing it on Halloween and the whole purpose of the department doing an event is to have, I don't know, back, you know, when I was growing up, I remember they were talking about, you know, poison candy and just, you know, walking the streets and it being dangerous. It's for the department to host a free, fun family event for fam you know, for people to come and not, yeah, not expose themselves to, you know, and you know um, yeah, and you know, in the past years, we go to to Creepy Collins or, or or far away. No, to over here, Collins. Uh, so anyway, that is, you know, I I woke up one day and I was like, this is what I want to do, and I came, and of course, Kristen, super supportive, stand for as well, um, and I think that. Afternoon, I ran into Felix, and I'm happy. Like, let's talk. <laughs> let's talk Halloween. And he's, you know, he's totally down for it. Um, you know, the, uh, the late the uh, Preserve Serino, also the, the woman that I spoke to, she's also getting us the bales of hay, which would make that whole picture opportunity cool. And what I'm excited about is like 
Huh? Are we going to have candy for the kids? Huh? Are we going to have candy for the kids? We're in combination with Rose Hills. Uh, so between Rose Hills and I, we're trying not to buy just candy, but little like erasers and prizes, little balls for the kids. So I told her to buy like 500 of whatever, plus we're going to uh, get candy. So we need donations of candy. Pumpkins. Um, those are the biggest, biggest things. The big ticket items, um, like the inflatable, I already paid for. If I can get reimbursed, great. If not, you know, oh well. Um, I bought some props for the spooky walkthrough. Um, if you guys have maybe masks or something at home that we can use and, or dress up like the old clothes that we can stuff and just put on the stake in the spooky, you know, that would be, I think it could, we can make it as low cost as possible and still really cool. Mm -hmm. I have a question for you. Do you, do you remember those, uh, those things that, uh, that were donated to us from, uh, I forget the name of the company, uh, that we put in the eggs for Easter? Mm -hmm. With those? Yeah. Uh, okay. And uh, can we get a list of the things that we need to come to the office to... Uh, Sooner the better, so we can make sure we... Candy and, like, more prizes. We, we, I got Rose ordering trophies. We got the hay. I got some props and some fog shoes and stuff already. So we need zombies? Um, for the Halloween con uh, contest. Well. And that's one of the reasons I thought the pumpkin patch would be cool, because we're going to put all the kids right there and then take pictures and it'll, yeah. it'll be really cute. Are you going to have, like, a costume uh, parade or costume yeah, that's, contest? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what the medals and uh, I think yeah, we're doing medals actually. Okay. Yeah, just, just get us a list of stuff, you know, as much detail as you can if you can't find it. But yeah. at least we know scale-wise what we need to build it for. It literally yeah. is candy and toy prizes. So when the kids win, we, we hand them, you know, little candy bags. Yeah. That's what we do. We'll give them a little uh, lollipop or but, but we also need the one animal. generator. Generator. Um, I'm getting that from... Uh, do you definitely have it? No, I don't definitely have it. I need well, to talk to you. Include that list. Yeah. Include the generator, generator tables, it. chairs, all hey, the... Can you guys help us out with, uh, help us out with uh, uh, canopies? Yeah, so you know what it is. It's, yeah, it's like, usually what people do is they say, you know, 10 by 10 or 10 by 20 or whatever the size is, and they just give us a list. Does anybody know, um... Like maybe a seamstress dress or something where that would have material, but we would have to buy material to drape all the way around it. That's what you want to do. How high are you looking for? It's, we're putting uh, four uh, 10 by 10s together, so it would be 40, 10, 40, 10, right? You know they what? come with canvas sides. They, they just they do. do. We, they, they just, uh, you guys could actually get the ones that already come with. Yeah, they come with sides. So yeah. I should have these ordered through them. Yeah. I think well, it well, would be smarter. They'll be small for you too. Yeah. Yeah. And the lock, and the people we can buy. And lights. Like, so like, and they specify that you want them black. And no, they only come in white. I think they only come in white. Oh, man. So we would still need to darken the, the inside, right? I have a question. A black I have a black light, but wouldn't that be too... With the white walls, you need to be I, I have a suggestion, and this is, I'm just throw it out there. I know the councilman has put in a lot of work in downtown, and that's actually part of our district now. If I'm not mistaken, I do believe that uh, the fashion district and the, uh, the, 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 the ones that, that, that do the clothes or the, the fabrics, yeah, yeah, they're, 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 they're actually in the district, right? So, so, so can we get someone maybe from out there to donate the black uh, fabric that we might need for that? Yeah, the, the thing is, the more time you give us, the more ability we can go find okay. things, right? So, what's, what's now? First, what are we in the first week? September 9-11. I mean, could you guys get a list of stuff within the next couple of weeks? Tomorrow. Yeah, but I want to make sure that you guys flesh out, you know, what type of materials you have. Oh, that's the way. Yeah, it's 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 on, it's <laughs> really How many people came last year? So it was at Rose Hill. And it was at Rose Hill. It was super small. Super small. So you want to make it big, right? Yeah. We're just going to I'm more than happy to do outreach. What we're actually doing, we're happy to do this, we're going to creepy clouds, and we're... 
know, you know, but, what, but last year they really didn't have anything big. I, 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 no, I, I went. I went. I trust you. It was literally just like. There was, there was nothing. I mean, the, all the people, all the houses, but, you know, on the years before, they had a, a stage and a lot of other things. We'll, we'll from, do a mailer report. We can do so everyone else. We'll do like a flyer. We, we need to do flyers. Yeah, we, still have, we still have coffee, right? Yeah, I'm going to need you for the breakfast at Santa for sure. Because um, that way the programs are in color and the, ve the vendors, the donors, they see their logo in color. And that would help a lot. Yeah, anything we can do to help make this a good event? Oh, I'm so... We need, we need to make flyers and send them to school. Well, like we do that already. Mm -hmm. So it would be like... Yeah, you guys just give us a list. We have a color copy or two. No one's... Yeah, well, we finally got a film and died. Um, we can make copies. We can make copies. You just need the PDF mail to you, right? Or do you need the actual... Yeah. Can you can send the PDF to... Uh, no, but well, I work on Watt. <laughs> See, I'm allowed to print up to 2500 per month. Wow. That's just... For a month? 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 For the program. Yeah. Breakfast with Santa. The, 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 the program is right? the, 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 You want that in November or you want that in December? The winter holiday thing we can discuss on the next one? Yeah, yeah. yeah so. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. What do you mean it's off track? Yeah. So, like, hey, remember, I brought this just in case you need it. Please, okay. This is the same before this is last week. Send us the yeah. email. Send us the email. Mm -hmm. All right. As an edible file. So, so, Jennifer, if you can buy it. Take care of the list. Right here are our customers. Right? Of course. He already called me actually, and he was really like, "Oh yeah, absolutely." He's on his way. You're just here. It's obvious. I mean, these are really important, right? Bring community together. It's like the center of.